Hey, welcome back everyone. It's me, Mr. 4 Cap Scaler. So I had some issues with the PC version as far as trying to run this flight simulator 2020 on a PC. Uh, all of this happened once I got my F14A NB Tomcat package from Just Flight, which is designed by uh, DC Design developer and published by JustFlight.com. Ever since I did that, uh, basically what happens is you download the file and then you extract the file to a community folder. And I think something happened with this file when it went inside the community fo folder. I had to delete it. I had to reinstall it again. And then it asked me, Windows Defender has asked me, do you authorize this to be on your public network? So I think what happened is that Windows Defender didn't recognize, because it's a Microsoft Windows Defender, didn't recognize this uh, add-on and thought it was a virus or something. And, and I think this is the reason why I was being constantly kicked out. But now that I authorized it, and how did I authorize it? I had to go through administration. I had to start a flight simulator through a administration. You click right on the mouse and then you select run as administrator. And once you run it as administrator, it will ask you, would you like to run, would you like to trust this uh, certain uh, add-on on your public networks? And I said yes. And, then, and ever since I did that, it's been working now so fine. However, there's another thing that I also did that I think will help depending on what kind of uh, PC you have. Uh, first of all, my resolution, I always like to keep it at 1080 source. This is basically your source resolution, 1920 by 1080. And then it's being outputted to your 4K monitor and it's being upscaled. So basically what's happening here is your 1080 resolution, which is a source resolution, it's being scaled and upscaled to fit your monitor resolution, okay? And then my frame rate, it's set to 60 FPS. But everything else over here, uh, I try to kind of tone down. Terrain level of detail, and buildings, and trees, and grasses, and bushes, all of this can have a huge uh, thaw on your uh, on your experience. So maybe it's a good idea to leave it at medium, to leave buildings at medium as well, and terrain vector data also at medium. Uh, I think this could really help if you leave it at medium, uh, because you have to remember all of this is collecting a lot of bandwidth data, and if you're flying really fast, it needs to keep up with the frame rate to render the trees and the buildings and, and all of that stuff. Photogemetry, right? It's still going to look good when you're flying from, from above high in the sky. You know, when you get closer, it might not look that good. But most of the time, you'll be flying very, very high in the sky. And volumetric well, clouds, the only thing I left it high here, it's the... Uh, Volumetric clouds, because I like them to look nice, so I left them at high. Texture resolution, I left it at medium. And it's a tropic filtering, I left it at uh, four times. And texture super sampling at two times, uh, because I don't want to put too much strain on my PC. Uh, texture synthesis, I left it at medium. Water waves at medium. Um, and everything else here, pretty much it's at medium. Windshield effect, contact shadows, ambient inclusion, reflection, light shaft. Bloom, I left it on. Depth of field, medium. And uh, motion blur at medium, along with the glass cockpit refresh rate. Lens correction, I turned that off. Lens flare, you really don't need this. Turn this off as well. Uh, shadow maps. It's up to you. You can turn it down a little bit. This could help, you know, turning it down. 
Uh, filtering, if you want to leave it at two, <clears throat> you know what? This right here, if you want to leave it at two, two, uh, two times and texture super sampling at two times, I would also recommend this as well. Now, all of this will depend on what kind of PC you have. But trust me, I think these settings right here are truly going to give you that smooth 60 FPS experience upscaled to 4K. Um, and this is my recommendation right here. Uh, you guys don't have to follow this. This is up to you. Object levels of detail also can be moved down to 90. You can move it down to 90. Terrain level of detail can also be moved out to 90. This will also help with virtual reality. When you're using a virtual reality, the last thing you want in virtual reality is to have choppy frame rate. You want to have the smooth frame rate experience. So I would keep this at 90 as well. Anti-aliasing, uh, anti uh, I would keep it at TAA. That's fine. Or you can switch it to FXAA. It gives you a lower quality, but it's going to give you a, definitely a much smoother, faster FPS. Now we're going to apply and save this. And I think you're going to see drastic difference. Drastic difference in, in, in frame rate. 60 FPS. Everything will look much, 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 much better. Like I said, don't expect everything to look super smooth in terms of quality. But when you're flying a airplane like this right jet fighter like this you want to have the best possible smoothest experience especially when you are inside a cockpit right you want to have that awesome smooth experience so I'm gonna stay here in the cockpit and I'll turn my brink off and we're gonna start flying Here we go. And you'll see how smooth this is. Come on, pull up, pull up, pull up. I don't know what's going on with my uh with this PC. Ah, something is wrong with this uh let's restart again. Something is wrong with uh with this F fourteen uh from DC design. To be honest with you, I think something's wrong with it. I can't pinpoint what it is. But definitely something it's not quite right here. Okay, let's see, external, I got the brake off, I got everything off, so I don't know what the deal is. Let's try this again. Wait for the afterburner, here we go. Okay, that's better. I don't know what happened last time, to be honest with you. Alright, let's see now. See? That's much better, much smoother. 60 FPS. So I would recommend these settings uh, for you guys. I think you will benefit greatly on the virtual reality with these settings. Uh, now, if you got a high-end specs, if you got even 
more powerful PC, then you're going to be hitting probably like uh, 80 frames per second or something like that, uh, which it's pretty amazing for a jet fighter like this. So far, I have found out that these settings right here will keep you from crashing to the desktop. Now, please keep in mind, um, don't, ex don't expect everything to look uh, as uh, detailed as it normally would be if you were running everything maxed out. But... This is the best in my opinion that I can squeeze out of this uh, out of this flight simulator for the best possible experience let's go inside a cockpit let's check out the cockpit uh, and you see how how smoother everything is and, and faster uh, more fluid right you can see that you can easily you know check the buttons and uh, look at other things and right and it's just better and like I said on virtual reality you're gonna you're gonna benefit greatly from this guys virtual reality is where you're gonna say oh this is what it's all about so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Now, what about the clouds? You know, when you put more clouds on it, uh, let me see. Uh, this is the question people have been asking me as well. What about when you put clouds uh, in here? Like more clouds, like scattered clouds, for example. Uh, it's going to work just fine. You know, it's going to be fine. Because remember, we have adjusted our settings to the point where it's not going to put too much uh, bottleneck and too much strain onto our PC and onto our internet as well you know so this is uh, this is enjoyable to me uh, because you got a smooth FPS experience 60 FPS and uh, that's what you want right now depending on what kind of PC you have again uh, you might not even have to do this. But I think it would benefit you greatly if you did this. You could be rocking like 80 frames per second, maybe even 90 frames per second. And you could be just going to some ridiculous amount of uh, frames. Especially on the uh, virtual reality. And, and that's where you're going to benefit greatly. It's the virtual reality. Look how smooth these uh, clouds are right now. All right, I can zoom out a little bit, can I? Look how smooth these clouds are. Look how great they are. And it's really not that bad. This is like a Xbox Series S version right now. It's almost like you're looking at the Series S version, but the difference is you are rocking it to 60 FPS uh, with no hiccups or any issues. Let's go outside, camera outside. Um, we go to the external right here. And... Uh, Let's uh, let's do some uh, off the burner flying. I'm gonna go to the clouds. And for an airplane like this, for a jet fighter like this, uh, using these settings, uh, I believe you're gonna benefit greatly. Again, especially on a virtual reality, because that's where it's at, virtual reality, right? And look at this. Looks great, man. 60 FPS. Perfect. Look how smooth that is. It's like a Top Gun movie. 
<laughs> so I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Do you have better settings? Please do share, guys. If you got something better that you think uh, could benefit me, uh, please do uh, put it down in the comments. But I think, in my honest opinion, that this is the, the best that I can squeeze. I've been really kind of thinking about this. I was, uh, I was spending a lot of time trying to uh, put this together, trying to figure this out. And uh, I honestly think that these are... Uh, These are the best settings that I can squeeze at the moment, especially for, uh, again, jet fighter like F-14, B and A. Goes to me, uh, performance is everything, right? Uh, it, it doesn't really matter what kind of game you're playing. I think having that performance, having that high frame rate can always benefit you, especially for a flight simulator like this where you are flying a f-14 tomcat right need for speed you know uh, how are you gonna have that top gun experience if you are only rocking 30 fps right and you're constantly crashing right now if you are flying something like ea7 and when you're just enjoying the scenery that's a different story 30 fps is fine but for something like this for something like a jet fighter, you want to have that smooth experience, dude. This is what you're looking for, in my opinion. Look at that. Just great, right? And that's what you want. And it really doesn't look that bad. A lot of people would say, oh my goodness, well, this is really not that bad. I know. A lot of you were expecting this to look kind of shitty based on uh, what settings I was putting on, but as you can see, it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. Let's go to a cockpit. Uh, this is the cockpit right here. Let's move down a little bit. It's great. Great, great. Excellent. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, go ahead, try these settings. Let me know what you th uh, what you think. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in a live stream. If you guys have something better, please do let me know if there's something better that you think I could benefit from. Uh, please do let me know. But I think this is the best that I can squeeze at the moment. Okay. So there you have it. Uh, and I'll see you in a live stream.